Hey, what's going on my fellow Vault Dwellers? Welcome to episode 4 of Fallout 4 Mod Review Poopocalypse. Now, in the previous episode, we had a nude mod, and I'm just finishing up skinny dipping in this radioactive sludge. Now, I am all wet here. Sweaty female body with dark underwear by Sunshaft V is a mod that attempts to make female characters look like they just came from the gym. Now the mod paints these streaks of water and sweat on the body textures of females and it comes with its own dark colored underwear. Now the streaks of water covers most of her body and the water droplets still seems to be uh, more noticeable in certain lighting scenarios. The body is also much more glossy and reflective as well compared to the default one. And running around such a huge map, you're bound to get sweaty and wet, am I right guys? So right now I'm all wet and I kinda need to find a way to dry myself off by maybe sunbathing on this beautiful rock right here. Rock On by 3AMT is a mod that gives rocks a makeover. The rocks has a wider range of colors that are now present on the rock surfaces. And there is a lot more darker colors compared to the default rocks that we see right here. And there are a lot of these cracks and streaks running across the rocks, you know. You know, the natural wear and tear and weathering of the rocks. The rock on makes it so the rocks and boulders and rocky cliffs don't look like gray blobs and whatnot. After taking a swim in the radioactive sludge, I gotta make sure I didn't like mutate and grow extra things, like our eyes. Jester Vibrant Eyes by Jester provides us a nether set of eyes that we can use on our beautiful characters. The eyes have 1k textures, and they are quite bright, large, lively, and as the name says, vibrant. The eyes are always one of the most important aspects of a character because, well, they're the windows into the soul. Even though our, our character theoretically don't have so since they're kind of like make-believe and, uh, and whatever. But anyways, anyways, I like the green and blue eyes just because they're usually the prettiest and that's how I like my female characters with blue or green eyes. Just their vibrant eyes also applies to male characters as well. Now the mod replaces the default eyes which are flat, solid colors so this is a welcoming change. Although I do wish that the like many of these eye mods don't replace the default vanilla ones because you know what, I, even though the vanilla ones are there, you know, I still want them as an option. Eventually we're gonna have like hundreds of eyes to choose from and just through vibrant eyes will be part of those uh, few hundred eyes Yes, it's always nice to have more choices when you agree Although, you know, sometimes you might have too many choices and you spend forever looking through the uh, all the different variations and trying to find the right one Yeah, we all had that pretty um, hard to s decisions when you I think we all have that experience, right? We try to make a character and then we spend like 20 minutes alone on the hair 20 minutes alone on the eyes is crazy but still it's a very nice thing to have very nice all of this beautiful rocks right here uh, but my gun is always in the way so I can't see all of that pretty pretty rock on my screen in first person view lowered weapons first person animation by lesma 666 changes how we hold our guns in first person view now this mod might be the first non textured mod that we uh, take a look at Basically, the mod uh, makes it so we don't ch point our guns forward all the time. Now, for those that own guns, it's a general gun rule that we should not point our guns at things that we don't want to destroy or kill. You know, basic safety gun rules. So, you know, you don't want to like walk around with our guns out pointing at people, especially like little kids or, 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 or innocent merchants. You don't want to do that. And it's just a safety hazard. Now the mod lowers all the guns in the game so it doesn't block the screen as much, you know, with shotguns and uh, rifles. So yeah, uh, it also works for uh, when you're in the power suit as well. So that's a great change. Uh, it works the same way in the power suit. Yeah, so I don't like how the 10mm pistol right here just happens to block such a cute follower right here, Piper. Yeah, I know, I know, but with this animation change, we can see her, her pretty face, her cute little face, and her enhanced outfit. Better Piper outfit by Lucid APs makes subtle changes to Piper's red outfit, and what it does, it makes overall uh, improvements to the texture of the Piper outfit. And when we take a closer look at this uh, very soon, we're gonna see what kind of changes uh, that makes the Piper outfit better. Now the mod changes the pattern of the scarf and it makes the buttons white. The lapel and the collar looks pretty worn out, although I would say the same for the entire outfit. 
the red act wait actually I don't know if the outfit is made out of leather or fabric but anyways uh, it's also very worn out the gloves and the pouches she has is also changed to make it a little bit rougher looking texture I mean you know she's walking around in it all day long she doesn't change it out and we're in such a harsh environment of course it's gonna look all worn out and torn up the texture isn't exactly high definition but you know what it makes for a very nice alternative outfit, like if you want some minor changes, minor changes and improvements. Anyways, I am very well. I shall sit under this red light with Piper wearing her red outfit. Now, I hope you will enjoy this episode of Fallout 4 Mod Review Boo Apocalypse. And if you did, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button, bang it good. And hopefully, we're not gonna like soak up so many red light and become like Superman or something. Uh, well then, stay sexy, my friends. I mean, stay sexy, my vault dwellers. Stay sexy. <laughs>